question asks, five card poker is played with a standard deck of 52 cards. The cards are sufficiently shuffled and five cards are dealt to two or more players. It is, typically, it is typical to call the five cards dealt to a particular player a hand. Hands are ranked in the following order, as seen on the board, and these categories are taken to be pairwise mutually exclusive. So the question asks that we have to verify the rankings in the above list on the board, and we have to see if it's justified by calculating the total number of hands possible in each case. So just for reference, the total possible is 2,598,960. So the first one we're doing is the straight flush, and there are 10 possible low cards. So out of the 10, you're choosing one. And then for the suit, you can only have one suit, so it's four choose one. And basically, a straight flush is where the five cards are consecutive sequence and all the cards are from the same suit. So for that, we get 40, and the probability is 1.5 times 10 to the negative fifth. For four of a kind, we're basically just choosing four of the same rank, and then they can all be different, or they all have to be different suits, and then one of them can be anything. So from the 13 ranks, we're choosing one. And then there's four suits, so four choose four. And then for the last card, it can be anything, so 12 choose one. And then that can be any suit, so four choose one. So that's 624 possible hands, and the probability is 2.4 times 10 to the negative four. So for the full house, it's one pair with equal face value and one triple with equal face value. So basically from the 13 ranks again, we're choosing one, and then since we're only choosing three, you're only choosing three of the suits, so it's four choose three. And then for the next pair, it's 12 choose one, and since there's only two, you're choosing four choose two for the suits. And that's 3,744 possible hands, which is 0 .0014 probability that this will occur. For the flush, it's a hand that's all just one suit. So from the 13 ranks, you're choosing 5, and from the 4 suits, you're choosing 1. But also, we have to remove the straight flush, since that's a special case. So that is 5,108 possible hands, with a probability of 0 0.002. And for the straight, it's 10 low cards, again, choose 1. And then all of them can be different suits, so 4 choose 1 to the 5th. And then again, we're removing the straight flush, since it's a special case. So there's 10,200 possible hands, and the probability is 0 0.0039. For three of a kind, basically three cards of equal face value, and the two cards can be anything. So for the three of a kind part, it's 13 ranks, choose one, and then those three have to be three different suits, so four, choose three. And then for the other two cards, they could be anything, so 12, choose two, and each of those can be any suits, so it's four, choose one, times four, choose one. And that's 54,912 possible hands, with a probability, probability of 0.0211. For a two pair, it's basically in the title, you get two of two different pairs. So from the 13 ranks, you're choosing two. And for each pair, it's two different suits, so it's four choose two times four choose two. And then you have one card that can be anything, so it's 11 choose one. And then for that card, you're choosing the suit, so four choose one. So that's a total of 123,552 possible hands, which is a probability of 0.0475. And for the one pair, it's just in the name one pair. So from the 13 ranks, you're choosing one. And since a pair, you have to choose two suits, so four choose two. And the remaining three cards can be anything, so 12 choose three from the remaining. And then each card can be a different suit, so four choose one to the third power, which is... 1,098,240 possible hands, which is a 0.4226 probability of this happening. And for nothing, it's just nothing from before this, so it's 13 choose 5, and each of those can be a different suit, so 4 choose 1 to the 5th, which is equal to 1,317,888, which is a probability of 0.5071. So basically this rank is justified since the number of hands increases as we go through the proof.